So, what happens when you combine an RFID uh, access control reader with a 1980s vending machine that has a Jones plug? Well, scan it. And you get the nastiest drink in the world. <laughs> but no, um, we came up with this thing where we used an RFID key fob thing from China. These are the really cheap ones. I think uh, my brother paid like five bucks for this. I mean, these are really cheap, but they work. And we use what's called Tyvek tape because my dad works for them. This is it right here. It's very strong. It's kind of like a packing tape, but much more sticky. So it, it we put it on the old can slash bottle opener. And yeah, so let me show you how we did it. All right, so with the magic of video editing, I went back to the back of the machine where we see, this is the behind the uh, old can slash bottle opener. You can see that there's the old box down there. Well, since you know we don't need those that anymore, these two holes which were in the back, we conveniently put the um, the uh, data cable and the power cable right there. Okay, so now we route up to this door. Uh, this is the door with the uh, coin mechanism and everything in it. Well, we open that, and I'm gonna show you how everything works. So if your vending machine does not have this cable coming from the coin mechanism, this trick will probably not work. So, sorry to those. That's called the Jones plug, by the way. So, well, what is this prior proprietary connector? That goes into the coin mechanism, which is probably pretty much the whole brain of the machine. There's, you know, there's, that's that, and then, you know, the coin mechanism controls everything, do a little relay, and then, it's a very simple machine, I'll tell you that much. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's two rows. Actually, let me set up this camera a little bit better. Okay, so that's probably better. Now there's two rows, and then there's a ground plug uh, to the left. So we're going left to, uh, right to left. Two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. That's the numbers or of the uh, pins we have, and that's just pretty much that. So like I said, the front four are two, four, six, eight. They're even one three five seven in the back coming from the right so what you want to do is pretty much just connect a cable I'm using a 110 cable for this bit because this is all running off pretty much all running off 110 volts AC connect one to seven okay just no switch no any no nothing then what you do is you take any cable I'm using a 12 volt cable and hook, hook one and three to each other. It's kind of hard to see, but that's pretty much what you do. One and three together, but don't hook it in the, directly to each other, or you could probably break your relay. Now, you pretty much want to hook it up to a momentary switch, or in my case, the um, RFID keypad, which I think um, stays on for two or three seconds after you swiped your uh, key, um, um, hit your RFID key up to it, or uh, entered your passcode so it's so that's and then it'll activate the relay so that's pretty much that it's very simple like I said anybody could really do it it doesn't require really anything it's it's cheap really inexpensive to do so uh, let's get back to the RFID keypad so this keypad like I said is very inexpensive you know it's really easy to hook up it's very simple uh, you just have to know a little bit of working with electricity and know what everything means, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if you really want to go simple, you could just hook up a little button to it if you really wanted to. Um, but so, scan your RFID key that is included. And that's that. Thank you for watching.